If you're calculating descriptive statistics, I recommend you use Staplet, and I've already got a video that goes through a whole bunch of different steps in that process. The problem is some, prob some of these homework problems have populations instead of samples. And for the most part, that won't make a difference except with standard deviation. So if you're calculating standard deviation from a sample, um, that's going to have a little different formula than a population. This is in section 2.7 of the notes. You can see that the formula differs by this division. With the population, we divide by m. With the sample, we divide by m minus 1. I talk a little bit about that difference in this video about Bessel's correction. Um, for us, what we need to know is when we use methods of technology, we have to be mindful of this difference. Uh, the website that I use for the most part is staplet.com. And with that one quantitative variable single group, it's going to assume you have a sample. So that will work on problems 34 and 35. All you have to do is copy those data, paste them in, begin analysis, and then look for your SD. But if you get to a problem uh, where it has a population, like in number 36, where we have all runners on a track team, we're going to use this population standard deviation formula, which means that using Staplet is not going to work because that's going to assume it's a sample. So to do that, what I would recommend is use Google Sheets. Um, you can see I have the formulas right here. Um, stdev.p is what we'll want to use to calculate that standard deviation. So just open up a blank Google Sheet. Go to your problem and paste your data, or copy your data, paste it into the sheet, and over to the right equals stdev.p for population, and enter your data. You can either do a range of inputs, or like I like to do, is just the entire column for column A. So that rounded is gonna be about 0 0.9, 0.93. Um, you can also use one of the pre-made sheets that I've already set up. Um, if you scroll up in the notes or look for a link called Descriptive Statistics, it shows up a couple times in the notes. Um, this is a file that you can make a copy of and use it for a bunch of different homework problems. Um, for this problem, you'd wanna scoot over to the Measures of Dispersion sheet, clear out the data that I have there, paste yours, and it will automatically calculate standard deviation using the two different methods so you can figure out which one is correct.